Hello and welcome to a quick video where we'll be discussing Q and KDB+. You might often hear the terms Q and KDB+, being used interchangeably, a common phrase being Q slash KDB+. In this short video, I'll give a brief overview of what each of these terms means, how they relate, and how they differ. So, what is Q? Q is a high-level general purpose vector programming language. I'm sure the terms high level and general purpose are somewhat familiar to most of you out there, but you may be a little less familiar with the term vector programming language. This simply means that Q has been designed to work efficiently with large vectors slash lists of data. Whereas in more traditional style languages, you're usually using some loop construct to work on individual elements one at a time, the real advantage of a vector language is realized in that you can apply built-ins and functions to whole lists of elements as a single operation. Q was developed by Arthur Whitney, who is known for his work on the many K programming language iterations. In 2003, it was released by Arthur's company, KX Systems. Q was designed to be expressive, fast, and efficient. When I say fast and efficient, I mean not only in terms of CPU time, but also in terms of development time. Q traces its roots to APL through its functional and vector style, and also to Lisp since the fundamental data structure in Q is a list. The creator of APL, Kenneth Iverson, was in fact a family friend of Arthur Whitney's. Development speed in Q is fast, not only because the language syntax is terse, but also because Q is an interpreted language. Expressions can be executed in a REPL giving instant feedback to the developer, i.e. there's no waiting for compilation. This also makes debugging much easier. Code can also be loaded from a Q script and can easily be split across multiple scripts to keep code tidy. Simply load any scripts you need and all the code within those scripts is available to you. Q is a dynamically typed language. Although there are many in the programming community who are adverse to dynamically typed languages, Q benefits from this choice by making the code more compact as there is no need to declare variables. Q supports automatic type promotion. For example, when you're trying to combine two different types, the smaller type is promoted slash cast to the same type as the larger type. This is done automatically without the need for explicit casting. Q is implemented in K4 and C. K4 is one of the K programming language iterations and is itself implemented in C. Q is the programming language that is built into KDB+. I'll return to this point after discussing what KDB Plus is. Q supports SQL style queries known as QSQL. However, in Q, these queries are far more powerful than regular SQL because we can embed the more general purpose Q code and functions within the SQL like database queries. Having spent some time getting familiar with what Q is, we now turn our attention to KDB Plus. What is KDB Plus? KDB stands for K Database. The K part is referencing the K language as KDB originally used K as its built-in programming language. In 2003, a 64-bit version of KDB was released called KDB Plus, which used Q as its built-in programming language. KDB Plus is an in-memory column store database with persistent backing that is optimized for time series data. Now, the moment of truth has arrived. We've seen how these two terms are linked. Q is the programming language that is built into KDB+. But how do we distinguish them? And when is it okay to use them interchangeably? I believe the confusion in distinguishing between Q and KDB+, arrives because installing the Q binary gives one access to all the features of KDB+, and so it may seem as if KDB+, is a subset of Q. However, the best way to think about it is that the Q language is essentially a means for a developer to interface with the data stored within the database. Hopefully, this simple diagram makes things clear. Through the Q language, a developer can create, analyze, and manipulate data. You can read from and write to an on-disk database, as well as keep data in memory. I would personally refer to KDB Plus when speaking about doing something involving the database features, and to Q whenever I'm talking about doing something that is not related to the database features of the language. Hopefully this discussion has cleared up any confusion and has given a good definition of what Q and KDB Plus are. 
If there are any topics you would like me to cover in a future video, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.